right, today I am going to show you how to strip just a coating off of an old cup so that you can use it for uh, making tumblers. This is a cup that a friend of mine gave me that he wants me to do something with, and as you can see, um, it is not in good shape. Um, my first cup actually was one very, very similar to that. So to do this, you're going to use put something on the ground. I have, you know, a shopping bag. Um, you need your cup. Uh, this is called a chip brush. Um, you could also probably use some paper towel if you don't have that. Um, I'm using citrus strip. Uh, I like it because it is suitable for indoor use uh, as long as it's well ventilated. And of course I have my gloves on. So all we're gonna do is, I usually, now this one's pretty empty on the bottom, but normally what I do is I just pour a little bit on the bottom, um, bottom like that and then I will use my brush to just nicely coat down. Um, again, if you are not in a well ventilated area, then I would totally recommend using some kind of mask. That's a little thin. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. The reason that you do not want to use the cup like this is because that it's, it's not giving you a good base to start with. I'm just putting, just putting kind of dollops on the top there. This can sit up to 24 hours. And that looks pretty good. All right, we are back. Um, as you can see, it's gone all uh, wrinkly, so you know that it's ready. Um, I actually left it a lot longer than 24 hours. Um, and so I just um, wet it down a little bit with some water just so that it was um, wet again. <laughs> um, if you leave it too long and it doesn't come off, then you'll have to put a little bit more on and do it again. Um, but we're just gonna use a paper towel and we're gonna just wipe, see how it's peeling off there. If it's still wet, um, I would say it comes off a little easier because uh, it kind of sticks together a little bit more. See, so we're just wiping it all off. This one comes off in a nice big piece. And this one, because it has, you may see it um, a little bit, but because it had some etching on it, the etching doesn't go away. Um, and you can also use like a little scrubby brush to try and get any of the extra little pieces that are not wanting to come off. But that right there is a stripped cup and then we're just going to go inside and we will wash it off. Actually I'll probably do it in my yard because why not? All right so I am outside. I have my cup that needs to be washed off. I have a scrubby pad, you can use another paper towel, a cloth, whatever, um, and I soap. So I am going to put a little bit of soap, you know, normal cleaning stuff. Just wet it down a little bit. Oops. Turn that on. And give it a wash. The nice thing with using a Brillo pad is that uh, you are helping to scuff up the surface as well, making it a good um, base for putting your paint on. Um, I do still suggest doing a little sanding too, just because it takes a couple seconds now and anything that takes a little bit of time but gives you a good response, you may as well do. So I'm just rinsing it off. You 
have it. You have a cup that is ready to go. Um, you may notice that there's some little spots that aren't quite good. That's totally fine. It is ready to be painted. <laughs> <laughs>